Hi everyone, this is Nick's Intel from the OSINT Curious Project and in this 10 minute tip we're going to continue to look at image geolocation. In the last video we saw how we can extract GPS coordinates from an image and then research and verify those to show exactly where an image was taken. But most images out there on the web that we might want to geolocate do not contain that really useful information. So we have to find other ways to do it. That in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to extract information from the actual content of an image and then how we can apply that same research and verification process to establish where something is. Um, so first of all, let's have a look at the image that we've got on screen here. All we're going to do, um, there are no technical tricks or tools to this, we are just going to look at the photograph and extract information from it. And this information we extract um, are going to, is going to form the research points for us to go off and begin researching where this place might be. So we just look at the image and sort of mark what we can see. So we have a business name here, Halls, Ish and Chips, it says. I think that's probably Fish and Chips. Uh, we have this flag in the window. We have the email address of the company that this, uh, this digger belongs to. We have another road sign here, Marketplace. And we have another business name twice over, Boutique Cafe. So that's what five, six things already. We have a uh, house number or build business number 42A. We have a permit number, which I guess is for the roadworks, and that might be another interesting research point if we need it. But what we have here that's really, really useful is a collection of signs. And in image geolocation, having a sign you can read uh, is an absolute gift because you can pick out the places on the sign and then work out for back from there to where the image was taken. So this sign tells us that uh, to the left here is Beedale Leisure Centre and Thorpe Perro Arboretum. To the right we'll find the tourist information and Beedale Hall and also to the right we have a sign for Wensleydale with a camping and caravan symbol and to the left we have Camp Hill Adventure Park which is it says five because this is this image is in the UK, it's five miles, and uh, most places it will still be five kilometers. Uh, and this way uh, we have Beedale Camping and Caravanning Park. So already before we have even done any research, uh, we're still at the extraction phase, we could probably begin to think this is probably in a town called Beedale because we've got Beedale Leisure Centre, Beedale Hall, and we have Beedale Camping and Caravanning Park. So that gives us a very a broader area of where this might be and then we'll try and pick out some more details uh, so we can fine tune this a little bit. There's another uh, another sign on the wall over here which uh, is harder to read. If we zoom in it says uh, Massam, Masham, Massam and the road number B6268. So we've got a road number there as well. If we were struggling for information which we're not in this case but um, there's a couple of logos, signs here that we might want to research and even possibly the lorry here, whether that logo um, is distinctive enough or not. But we've got, uh, what's it, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 pieces of information there. Uh, we could probably pick any one of these um, to begin as a research point. Uh, but first of all, we're going to um, look at Marketplace and Beedale because um, we're fairly confident the town's likely to be Beedale. So we're going to now move from the extraction phase uh, and we're going to research Beedale and Marketplace and Halls, Fish and Chips and so on. Uh, and we'll see what comes up and see if we can find where this is taken. So we switch to Google. I've got Google Maps up, but I'm actually going to start in Google itself. And remembering all those information points that we've extracted, um, we'll enter them in just as a broad search term. So we have Beedale, that's it, Marketplace, um, and it was a um, boutique, I think was the name of the cafe. There we go. So let's bring up Google Maps. And we have here, this is, Google tells us the town of Beedale. Uh, and before we get into street view or a 3D satellite view or anything like that, 
one feature you'll notice with Google Maps, which makes it particularly helpful, is that um, businesses and other distinctive places on a map will often have a profile um, over here on the left, uh, which will include photos, which we're interested in. So we're looking for a boutique cafe. The only sort of match and bido I can see here is this one. So we click on it and it brings up, there's 42 marketplace where we saw 42A on the sign. Um, and there's some photos over here as well. See people who've been there have uploaded photos. So we could explore uh, what this looks like a little bit more, whether it matches the location. Uh, this photo here, for example, looks quite promising. Um, so that's one avenue of research um, and already starting to see a few things here that match. Um, so we saw the sign on the side. Uh, I'll just bring it back up again. We saw this sign here said uh, the road was B6268. And we can see here B6268 next to the cafe. So this looks quite promising. So we'll switch from the map view to the satellite view, uh, which gives us um, a little more idea of what things actually look like. And we can either switch to the 3D view. Uh, now, in some places in more built up areas, you can get uh, whole settlements, towns that are built up in 3D models. This looks like quite a small place, um, so it doesn't seem to have that um, 3D feature. But that doesn't matter because we can switch to Google Street View by clicking on the small figure down here. And then we'll click here and see if we can see anything that matches. Uh, the location and this is looking pretty promising so this is switch to our back to our original photo we had the halls fish and chips on the left uh, we have boutique cafe we had the marketplace sign and all these places uh, in Beedale uh, that were signposted and obviously the roadworks now some of these places some of these features like the businesses are very permanent features so you'd expect to find them if I want, if I'd research something like the digger and the roadworks, that's likely to be a very, very short term feature. So it's probably less reliable as a, as a starting point for our research. So we try and focus on things that are likely to have been there for a long time rather than things that might be temporary. So here we are. We have halls, fish and chips. We have the sign here for uh, Massam. B6268. Uh, we have the, uh, there's this symbol in the background. I couldn't quite make it out because of the digger. It said golden something. We can see it actually says golden tortoise bull shop. And we have the marketplace symbol here and boutique cafe sign up in the window. And there we are at number 42A. So if we can uh, put these side by side, if we can. And we'll see that there's actually quite a uh, that's clearly the same location we've got the horse fish and chips we've got the road sign we've got the marketplace sign um, so that's our verification done um, so we're happy that this place um, is in the town of Beedale on the marketplace just outside the boutique cafe and that's how we've geolocated that one we've done it without any GPS data without any EXIF data, although we have really, in a broad sense, followed the same strategy. We have extracted information from the photograph, we've then researched that information, and then we have moved to actually verifying that with the Street View and Google Mapping tools. We started with the information about uh, B-Dale, that we could have started in probably another route, we could have taken another route in, for example, if I went to Google Maps and let's say I didn't have this information about Beedale, for example, that's, and that wasn't in the picture, I could have gone to Google Maps and searched for halls, fish and chips. And it brings us back to the same place that obviously are not many of these, uh, well, not many fish and chip shops um, that have that same name. So that's another step up in geolocation that is not as straightforward as just getting GPS coordinates, but we've applied the same principles throughout. And in the next video, we're going to look at how we can begin to apply the same principle of extracting, researching, verifying, but in images where we are not given 
so much information at the start as we did in this one. So it will get that bit harder, but stick with us and we'll apply the same principles so that we'll be able to geolocate uh, more and more images that we come across. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.